we talk about hair growth, we can all agree that along the years we've heard n number of hair growth tips. From grandma's home remedies to clinical treatments, haven't we tried everything for perfect long hair? But half the time we fail to understand what proper hair growth accounts for. Understanding the way in which your hair grows puts you in a better position for achieving fuller, thicker and healthier hair. So let's get to it right away. Hair roots are the living parts of your hair and they exist inside small tube-like places in the skin called follicles. As hair starts to grow, it rises up from the root and pushes out through the follicle. Eventually, it comes out of the skin where it can be seen. The part of your hair that can be seen above the skin is called the hair shaft. There are around 100,000 hair follicles on the scalp, which is why it is normal to lose up to 100 hair a day. During these stages, the hair may become weaker and thinner after each cycle. That's why it's important to ensure your diet is rich in specific nutrients to maintain normal healthy hair growth. The anagen phase. This is the growing stage for hair. It lasts up to 7 years. During this period, the cells in the hair bulb divide rapidly, creating new hair growth. Hair actively grows from the roots before hair follicles become dormant. Hair can grow anywhere between 18 to 30 inches. The length of this phase is dependent on your maximum hair length which varies between people due to genetics, age, health and many more factors. The keratin phase. This is the transitional stage that lasts about 10 days. The hair follicle shrinks and detaches from the dermal papilla. The hair is then called club hair. The telogen phase. This is the resting phase which lasts around 3 months. The club hair rests in the root while new hair begins to grow beneath it. The exogen phase. This is the part of the resting phase where the old hair sheds and new hair continues to grow. Approximately 50 to 150 hair can fall out daily. But there's no need to panic as this is considered to be normal hair shedding. At the end of the day, hair growth varies from individual to individual. Your nutrition, hair care, and genetics play a vital role in hair growth. That's pretty much it for today's topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel Explified.